What's up guys, I'm BDC and this is the Crash Landing Mod Pack. Thanks to some of the viewer comments, suggestions from last video, I've made some changes to the base here. So first up, I've got a lot of obsidian and this is really simple. All you have to do is take a stone barrel, put some lava in it and then throw some water on it and you get obsidian. So you don't have to worry about a magma crucible or any of that stuff, super simple. Man, it is so hot standing over here. And that's another thing. Someone cleared up that it's proximity to the heat source. So whether there's a wall in the way or not is irrelevant. I am wondering though, because there is some snowball related stuff. Hold on, snow. So you can make snow, you can make snow bricks. I'm wondering if these things cool down the area. So that stuff heats it up, but do Snow blocks and snow bricks, do they cool down the area? Because that would be pretty cool if they did. Get it? Ha ha ha. Oh god. <clears throat> Please let me know in the comments if you know. <laughs> also, I automated this. So before I used to have to take the cobble and throw it into the crucible, but now it will automatically pump it into there. Dude, I like these barrels so much better than the factorization ones. Now that I found out you can lock them as well, that's great. So even if you take everything out, hold on, let me put that in there. Lock it, you can take all of them out. See, it says zero. You can take everything out and it still leaves it as what it is. With the factorization, you have to always keep one in there. Anyways, oh yeah, and also with the Java barrels, you can take items out or put them in from any direction, which is also pretty awesome. All right, so I've got the cobble going into there that supplies me with lots and lots of lava. Then I made some more buckets, and we've got lava buckets, blah, 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 blah. We got hopper full of lava buckets right here, and that is cooking up all of the cobblestone, which is going into the stone barrel right there, or the barrel of stone. You know what I mean. So it's working pretty good. Also, I fixed this because someone pointed out I had put it in the wrong spot. So that's all fixed, and I cleared out this. So this is going to be where the mob grinder is going to be. I made it just like as if I was using a spawner. Now I know I could have probably made it larger and used the conveyor belts to move mobs over here, but I don't really think that's an issue. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the conveyor belts upstairs and outside and have them just fall onto the spikes and have that work like that. I think that'll be easier. It'll also, you know what else I could do? Actually, I could, maybe I could put some conveyor belts on the roof or something. Keep the darn spiders out. Anyways, all right, let's finish this up. So I've got the grinder here. Oh yeah, and I made a presser too. I, I, I did a lot. I did lots of stuff. <laughs> so let's put the, uh, let's put the grinder there. And I'm going to put all of my energy and all of the, what do you call it, uh, machines and stuff down on this level. At least that's the plan. I haven't dug out the entire area because I want to make the uh, excavator first because pff, I'm not going to use the shovel for that. Forget that. All right, anyways, I have... Uh, oh, yeah, I started making some machine frames too. Let's do an energy cell, fluiduct, and what else? What else do I need? Uh, I've got, uh, wait, what's this? Hardened energy conduit? Redstone. What? Wait, what's the difference? 400 RF? Oh, 80. Oh, okay. Interesting. Interesting. All right. Well, let's, uh, there was something else. Where is it? Uh, ah, seared glass. Here we go. I'm going to put, I, th I think I can put. I think I can put the mob essence in this. Well, we'll figure it out. All right, so down here, I'm gonna have to use the generator for right now, and then I'm going to change it over to the reactant dynamo. So we're gonna plop down the generator, and let's get, uh, I guess it doesn't really matter, does it? Well, we'll put this out there. Okay, so we'll, here we go. And there. Oh, we're gonna have to move this. Wait, hold on. Nope. 
Oh, okay, we'll break it with a pickaxe. Please don't destroy it. Oh, okay. Man, I never know. I've I've destroyed one too many things using the pickaxe in these mod packs. All right, so I need... Uh, I don't have too much. We'll take one ender pearl for right now. And then we're going to put some tanks down here as well. Let me see here. Uh, Fluiduct. Oh, you know what? Um... Yeah, let's let's put the uh, let's put the fluid oct right. Oh darn it! There we go. All right, fluid oct, and then let's put a tank right there, and then we can put the reactant dynamo. We'll put that uh, right there, and I actually, you know what? Hold on. Let's uh, wait. There we go. Let's put the reactant dynamo right here. And I'm going to put the Fluiduct right there. Okay. There we go. All right. Hopefully that works. And we'll put this like there. This is obviously not going to be permanent. And then I need one more thing, which is going to be the items. Wait a minute here. I think... I think that... Uh, hold on. Where did the items come out? I think the items only come out. Oh, yeah, that's right. I think the items only come out through that side. So, crud. All right, we got to we gotta fix this a little bit. So, I'm going to take this, and we'll let's break that. And we'll take the Fluiduct right there. We'll have that go down. And then we'll, we'll move this. We're going to have to move this around a bit. Hang on. There we go. Uh, did it, What happened to my Fluiducts? Did I not pick them back up? No, okay, I, I've got them all. Because there's two right there, plus three. All right. Man, I'm going crazy. All right, so we'll put those two right there. Then we'll put the dynamo right there. And we'll put another fluid oct right there. Put that like so. And then we'll have the item ducts coming out the back here. And we'll just feed this right into the system. So let's see, what's the easiest way to do this? Probably, uh... Okay, let's get this thing up and running. I'm gonna break the glowstone nook that makes this entire area spawnable. And then I'm gonna fill in the rest with the clear glass there. And the grinder shouldn't be on just yet because it doesn't have any power. So if I back away from this... Mobs should spawn in there. They should be able to spawn in there. I'm probably going to go to the surface and start lighting up the area more. This actually is... Mm, I don't know if this is going to be good. Although, I mean, like, if I'm walking around doing stuff around here, stuff should spawn. However, if you're within... I forget how many blocks. If you're within a certain number of blocks, stuff can't spawn. So... I'm going to have to be kind of elsewhere. Yeah, because there's nothing there right now. Okay, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to remove these spikes and open this area up a little bit more. Oh, oh, you guys stay out there. And then I'm going to have it so that the mobs just drop down into this. Because right here is directly underneath that. If I head up over here, you'll see that... Well, it's not directly underneath it, I guess. It's a little bit over. Hmm. Okay, well, I'll just have to move it over a bit, but that's no big deal. So what I'll do is I'm going to open this up because I've already had to clear out all of this dust in order to make this because every time you dig the dust out, more would fall from the ceiling. So I've already made this. So what I can do is I can just dig this and I can put the, uh, what do you call it? I can put uh, the conveyors up top. So stuff can still spawn down below, but anything that's up on the surface will just fall down here. Ooh, that's kind of bad. Uh, do I have any dust on me? No. Um, let's throw let's throw a cobblestone in there. I think that might be spawnable. So I think that'll work. So I'll take care of that next time it's day. I still haven't seen any mobs spawn in here yet. Yeah, that might be that might be best. I think. You know those guys. Yeah, I'm going to have to wait for daytime. 
I still got the frying pan on the on the floor. Oh, that reminds me, the uh, squeezer or no squeezer? Uh, the is it the squeezer? What is it? The presser. Okay. Let's see how this thing works because I want to make the tofu. I don't know how. Does this thing need energy? I don't think it needs energy. It needs soy though. Do I have any soy? I think I do. Don't I? Soy, 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 soy. Sunflower. That's a radish. No, 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 no. Okay. I definitely have soy plants up here, though. Let me go check on the far corner. I'm almost certain that I have some over here. Do we have any? Do we have any? Uh, oats. Soybean. There we go. Soybean. Yep. I'm going to have to make a much larger area for this. So, mm. all right, well, well, we'll, we'll just use the soybean for right now. And I want to see how to get this presser to work. And then once we've done that, I'll make a lot larger of an area for the soybeans because some of the other stuff like the spice leaf and whatever, I don't need that much of it. So we'll, we'll, we'll fix that. Uh, let's see. How the heck does this thing work? Okay. All right. So it's in there. Oh, oh, goes by itself. Nice. It doesn't require any energy. And, ooh, soy milk and silken tofu. Oh, that's right. It gives you soy milk, too. Nice. Okay, I think I got it figured out. Really simple. You just put silken tofu back into the presser. And... Is it going? Okay, there it goes. So you got to take the milk out. So you just put it back into the presser, and you get firm tofu. So that's pretty good. There you go, firm tofu. Okay, now let's make something. Let's make something really good. We got chicken sandwich. Ugh, it's got mayo. I hate mayo. Mayo is disgusting. Okay, using some bone meal, I planted an entire crop of the soybeans, so that way I can get lots of it. I already got a bunch of it being pressed right now as well, which kind of reminds me, I don't really need all these different plants. Like blackberries and blueberries, strawberries, cranberries, bamboo shoots, and seaweed. I don't need any of this. Nah, eh, I kind of want to keep some of it anyways. You know what I really need? I need a harvester of some sort in order to get all this stuff and put into barrels and what have you. That'll make it a lot easier. And then I can have like some sort of auto system that just makes bacon cheeseburgers for you. Oh god, that would be so good. Unfortunately, you can't eat them all the time because then they, they lose their value after you eat them a couple of times. But we'll mix them up with some cheese sandwiches or not cheese sandwiches. Yeah, cheese sandwiches. Uh, we'll mix it up with some chicken sandwiches. Although a nice grilled cheese could go would go nice, good right about now. Anyways, oh, mouth is watering. <laughs> I did get some mobs inside the mob trap. Unfortunately, they were just bad. Where'd they go? They're not here. Oh, they despawned. There were some bats in here. That's all that was in there, though. No mobs. Well, other than the bats. I mean, technically, they're mobs, but they're not hostile mobs, and they definitely don't drop anything, so that's unfortunate. All right, I got lots of the silken tofu, but I need to make some cheese. So we got some salt and that. And there we go. Actually, you know what? Let me uh, let me make another one of the cheese. Okay. Actually, let's make let's make a couple. Let's make a couple cheese. There we go. So we'll take that stuff out. Uh, take that out. Take that out. And we're gonna put the pot here. We'll put the soy milk in, some silken tofu, and add a dash of salt. Wait, that's not right. There we go. Then we got the cheese. Okay. Now, onto the burger. Uh, oh, yeah, grilled cheese. Look at that. There is a grilled cheese. Oh, we can make grilled cheese. Oh, you need butter and toast. Okay. We're going to go with the cheeseburger, though. So hamburger requires that. Uh, I need uh, blah, blah, blah. Let's go back into here. We need the saucepan. And what is it? Oh, that's not right. Hold on, hold on. Uh, a toast. I need toast. Where's my toast? I know I have some toast. There we go, some toast. Okay, so skillet toast and a firm tofu that makes a hamburger 
And then we put some cheese on it and we get cheeseburgers. And then I think we add some more. Oh, I don't have any. Oh, I don't have any. Hold on. I gotta press this up again. So let's throw some, uh, we'll put half a stack in there and get some, get some more uh, firm tofu. There we go. So I need, uh, how many do I need? I need at least, well, I need a bunch more actually. So hold on. So we put that in there, then we put that in with the cheeseburger and bacon cheeseburger, hearty large meal. Mm -hmm. Yummy, yummy. And we'll let that uh, do its work. I'm gonna put this stuff in here for now. And we'll come, actually, hold on. Uh, oh God, I need. I really need to, to get a better area for this. And we'll come back to that later, but in the meantime, look at this. Oh man, look at that, look at that hunger bar. Look at that. That is pretty nice. How much is that thing? Woo, four and a half, four and three quarters, plus a whole bunch of that, that. Oh, that's some good stuff. Oh, that's good. That's good. Mmm, God, bacon cheeseburger. Now, what was I doing? What was I doing? Oh, yes, I want to fix outside. Let's go and check. Hopefully, all the mobs are gone. Uh, they are. Let me do a quick peek, see if there's any, any mobs around here. I don't see any. I do need to make that uh, drawbridge thingy. Somebody was talking about... Run, 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 run. No, no creepers or... What do you call it? Um, spider's gonna come and get me. Okay, so where, where is this thing? Um, I think it's, okay, so that's right, right there. So I want this and we'll open this up right to here. And I'm gonna have to clear out this whole area and then we'll put some conveyor belts all around to try to move everything into it. Ding! And then um, after we've done that, I'm probably gonna go and try to light up the area even more so that it forces the mobs to spawn only over here. Although that does kind of create some problems because if you do that, then what sometimes, oh, actually no, I don't want them. I don't want them on that edge right there. No. Oh, oh, wrong block. Darn it. Uh, where is it? There we go. I don't want them right there. I want this like this. And right here. And I think it goes over to here. Yeah, anyways, I don't want the entire area to be completely unspawnable because you run into a problem with that. And that's when you dig into new areas. If or if you, let's say you accidentally leave an area that's spawnable inside your base. If there's nothing, no other spot for the mobs to spawn, then what will happen is they will quickly, very quickly spawn in that spot uh, that you had just opened up. Now, they can't spawn right away, like they have to wait until you're a little bit further away, but um, it can be it can be really dangerous because you'll get mobs spawning on you real quick and in a hurry, and you don't want that. So uh, I do want to clear this out, but I don't want them to uh, what do you call it? I don't want them to go on this here. I want them to only be in that one area. So that's why I'm gonna. Oh, there's a bat right there. Grinder's not gonna work because it's not on. All right, so I'm going to fill this area with cobble all the way up. And, oh, crap, it's getting nighttime. Uh-oh. Um, this this is going to be bad. This is going to be bad. Hold on. Ah, it's going to be bad. Well, I might get some mobs in here. Get out of there, bat. Oh, no, I can open that up right there. Okay. Oh, I don't know if I want to go in there. I think I'm going to wait. I think I'm going to wait. Oh, I don't want to lose all those blocks. Oh, this is, this is dangerous and dumb. This is dangerous and dumb. 
Hello? Anybody? Get out of the way, bat! This is dangerous and dumb. Get him, get him, get him, get, him. get all the blocks, get all the blocks, quickly, quickly, quickly! Close it up, close it up! Okay. We're good, I gotta wait till daytime again. I made some modifications and they seem to be working. However, I need to make some more conveyor belts. I'm kind of hesitant to go over there because I saw a zombie kind of glitching out. Let me, let me see here. All right, I'm gonna open up all these so I don't accidentally fall in. All right, so I've got the roof right here, which makes it, oh, oh, he's gonna shoot at me. Yep, I got the roof right there which makes it so that mobs can spawn even during the day down on the bottom. Oh God, he's stuck up there. He's kind of glitching. Is he still there? No, he fell down. Okay. The only problem is I don't, oh God. Ooh. The only, see, they don't quite get stuck. Uh, excuse me, they don't quite get knocked down yet. Um, I need more conveyor belts, but I don't have any of the slime balls or the rubber to make the conveyor belts. I suppose I could always use water to do it. See, they kind of get stuck on the edge right there, like right in that corner or right in that corner right there. And of course, there's no conveyor belts right there at all. And some of the really fast guys can kind of, oh God. They can kind, they can kind of sneak over. I mean, it works, don't get me wrong, but it could be better. So we've got, oh man, look at all those guys. Look at all those mobs down there. Look at all those. All right, let's turn this bad boy on. Let's turn this generator on. Wait, you know what? Oh, you know what? I think I can, uh, you know, let's, let's, let's throw this in here first. Hold on. How do I, how do I do this? Uh, RF, redstone, I'm gonna make that low. Um, can I just like throw it in? Okay, I put it in there. Okay, so it's got a thousand mob essence. And then I need to put some gunpowder in there. And it looks like it's making energy. Let me go grab some more gunpowder. Grab some more. Let's grab a whole stack of this stuff. Oh, look it, it's working. It's working. All right, let's throw, let's throw all the gunpowder in there. And it is in fact collecting some mob essence. It should be re- Why is that getting stuck? What the hell? Does it- Do those not flow into each other? I guess they don't flow into each other. Well, that kind of sucks. All right, well, let me get rid of that one then. And I need uh, fluid ducts. Okay, so let's put another Let's put another fluid up right there, and let's put that like that. And then I need another lever. Hold on. Let's change this stuff back to regular cobblestone. All right. Where are my... There it goes. Okay. And cobble. There we go. Lever. And let's throw that right there. There we go. And it's going to drain it all out. Sweet. Uh, there will be a little bit of a buffer right there in that seared glass. Maybe I'll make an extra tank or something like that. I don't know. Actually, you know what? Hang on. Let me let me try something hold on here. Hold on. Let's um. Let's. Ooh, how am I gonna do this? I guess I can. I. How am I gonna do this? I can throw it right there. Maybe that'll work. I don't know if you can pull from the sides on these though. So let's. Where do I have any more fluid ducts? I got one more fluid duct. All right, let's um. Let's put this right there, and then let's see if I can. There we go. Okay, but I need another. I need another lever. All right, and then let's slap this one. Where where is that? Right there. Okay, we'll put that right there. There we go. That's kind of a mess. It's definitely a mess. I don't even know if it's going to be able to pull from the side. It might not be able to. I might have to make more fluid ducts. I mean, these aren't really the best. These aren't really the best tanks anyways. So, 
I mean, for right now it works, but whatever. Oh, oh, let's see. Uh, let's see what kind of stuff we're getting. Well, we are getting a decent amount of the mob essence, which is good. There you go. I'm destroying that. And let's see this right here. So it's generating a, a pretty solid amount of power. That's a really good amount of power right there. So that seems to be working. I think I need to make some more of these bad boys. What is that thing? Conversion makes me. It seems to be generating quite a bit of power. And it's definitely uh, keeping up with the grinder, that's for sure. Well, the grinder doesn't use energy unless it actually kills something. So even though you got this timer... See, this idle thing and the timer thing kind of throws you off a bit. Like, watch. When it destroys this... So there it goes. So it uses up a little bit, and then it gets filled right back up. So I, I think that uh, that should work pretty good. Let's see what kind of goodies we got. Any any non-regular goodies? Well, we got some leather cap and some pants and some torches and some more creeper plant seeds. But Ooh, how many hearts do I have now? I got two. Okay. So that's pretty good. Working pretty good. How many ender pearls? Ooh, I got some more ender pearls. Nice. I need to make some more elevators as well. Awesome. Well, that seems to be a go. All right, I need uh, more. I need more uh, slime balls or rubber or something, because in order to make the rubber here, I can use raw rubber. I can use a ball of glue. How do I make a ball of glue? Well, that's not very helpful. So I need rubber wood. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, that's pretty... I mean, I can use uh, congealed blood. And the way you can get that is you jump in the smelter. But given that I could die, I kind of don't want to do that. And I really don't have a good way of getting out of there. So I'm not going to... I don't think I'm going to risk that. Uh, I do think I have a rubber tree sapling somewhere, though. Where is it? I think it's around here somewhere. Cinnamon, dragon fruit, walnut. It's not going to be any of those. Peppercorn. No, no, no. Oak saplings. I know I have one around here somewhere. Where is it? Bamboo, grand... No, no, no. Rhubarb, okra, Brussels sprouts, sunflowers. Rubber tree seed right here. Okay. So how do I... How do I make... Can I make these? Oh, it comes from uh, dirt. Okay. Well, I'm not really worried then. It's a 2% drop chance. But that's not really that big of a deal then. Okay. Okay, that actually is uh, that actually is pretty good. You know what I'm gonna do? I've got, I think I have a full. Yeah, I got a stack of dirt here because I've got tons of the uh, the sh what do you call it? The sugar cane. So I'm going to swap out one of these with that. Actually, let's uh, put that there like so. And we'll see if we can get some more of those seeds. And I need to get one of those trees planted. Oh, you know what? I don't know if those are the... I don't think those are the trees. I don't think these are the... Because there's a couple of different tri types of trees. I don't think that that's the one where you use the tree tap on it. I think that's the one where you just have to straight cut it down. So that's not that's not really a big deal. I'm going to have to work on getting some harvesters and some other stuff. I also want to Oh yeah, that's right. Illumite. Let's let's go make some illumite stuff. So I did melt down some obsidian right there. So in order to make illumite, so I'm going to make some illumite and then I will make the tools. So illumite, molten illumite requires uh, let's see here. It is obsidian, iron and aluminum. So I've got iron in there, and I've got obsidian. So I just need to throw in some aluminum, and we'll be good. Um, what's the what's the ratio on that bad boy? It is. Uh, I think that's one ingot in it. Is that one ingot? Hang on. Let's see. How much is an ingot? I think it's the last one. Of course, it's going to be the last one. An ingot is 144. So it looks like it's uh, two. Looks like it's two. Yeah, two ingots, two ingots, and then a bunch of it. Okay. Well, you know what? Screw it. 
Um, I'm just going to throw in a bunch. <laughs> Whatever. We'll just throw in a bunch. Good enough. It'll make some. <laughs> However much I get is good. Uh, it's not really a big deal. I think I might end up putting... I don't know if I'm going to put repair. Maybe I'll put uh, flux on it. Energy thing. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I think that's probably going to be about it for this one, though. Got some bacon cheeseburgers, which are all gone now, which is kind of disappointing. Wait, why is this not... Oh, are they dying from just falling? They might. That's not really that far, though. They shouldn't be... Oh, I know what, what happened. I know exactly what happened. Okay. It's daytime, so they were on fire. They walked to the edge, and then they fell and they died. The fire did damage to them. And then falling is what caused them to die. Okay, so there'll be some mobs that just die in the daytime, but that's fine. It's only going to be a very small number. Oh, and I'm out of water. Is there a spider over here? I hear a spider. No, we're not going to mess with him. And I need to go get some water. But that's going to be about it for this one. Thank you for watching. We'll make some tools and stuff and get going on the second floor next time. Thank you for watching. Hit that like button. Remember, always, always blame the controller because it's never your fault.